right, we are back. DesignerCon 2024 with our friend Boris Hamilton. Check it out. Look at that. Uh, we got here right when they open, so it's not super crowded just yet. Not yet. All right, so we're gonna go uh, check out the vendors and see if we can bump into friends and we'll take you along with us. All right, let's go do this. Designer Con, Johnny Cupcakes. So, if you're not familiar with Designer Con, it's basically a convention with a bunch of different artists and designers. Uh, a lot of toy people here, toy designers, and uh, artists of all kinds. Bumped into our friends Big Tiki out here at the Designer Con 2023. Yep. Uh, so, tell us, how long have you been making your mugs and toys and stuff? Uh, I started a little before the pandemic, so it's probably like 2019, 2018. Uh, I was tattooing at the time, full okay. time. Okay. So, uh, when the pandemic happened, I needed to. Uh, to make some money somehow so I just went full force on my tiki mugs so what what made you start doing the tiki mugs uh, just being in Vegas I you know I went to some of the tiki bars in Vegas right and saw you know got a drink and was like man these are cool I want to make one of these you know I think I could do it and I just started doing it after were, that. You, were you doing ceramics before you tried it uh, no I just uh, I think it was getting inspired by the tiki bar you yeah know, yeah like because the thing about ceramics is like a specific discipline, right? And specific yeah. style, especially uh, mug making. Yeah. Because it's, it's not just like making a figurine, like you have to make a, it's actually functional art. Yeah, and I had to, I just taught myself ceramics after that. So I was like, what do I need to, to get to that? Wow, point? wow. So, uh, but yeah, luckily online talking to people and other artists and stuff they're really helpful but and I just bought my first kiln and just went at it and now you've got like a space where you're doing all this yeah is it a mess is it, is it the mess that I think it is uh, I, I actually keep a pretty clean studio okay because like with the plaster oh, and, yeah. and clay you have and... to be clean unless you know you want some health problems so oh yeah got the you. Dust got and you. Everything. now are you still doing tattooing too uh, occasionally, but not. I kind of retired from. Okay, so you've kind of like transitioned over from. Yeah. Full wow! Time, yeah. Wow! That's. It's that's a dream pretty come cool. true. Yeah, yeah, I love it. Love it. Well, it's nice to finally meet you guys. I've seen your stuff before. Uh, I think it was at TK Oasis and other events, and we've never got to talk before. So I appreciate you uh, yeah, uh, saying hello to us and saying hi to our viewers on the podcast. No problem. Awesome. Thanks. You guys follow follow Big's Tiki on Instagram. Thank you. All right. Cheers. I'd be remiss if we didn't talk to our friend Chris, who's also sharing the booth with Mike and Biggs. Check out his artwork. Are you, so are you a resin artist? Uh, I worked in resin for about, I've been making toys for about 10 years. Okay. I worked in resin for years and years and years. I still do some things in resin, uh, like the magnets and some contract work. Um, but I really wanted to make toys, so for me, vinyl was a better material. So last year, I had my first vinyl toy, which is okay. Gordo. And Gordo. then this year, I kind of went nuts and have pretty much all vinyl. I don't have any resin toys anymore. I'm just using resin for magnets and things like that. Um, oh, so, so, yeah. so how different is working with vinyl versus resin? I need help to do the vinyl. So Mile High Sofubi does most of my casting. They're operation out of Colorado that casts sort of Japanese style uh, slush cast vinyl in the United States, which is very rare. Um, and uh, he does a great job. 
And then I've got a little bit that's cast in Japan uh, through a partnership with Grody Shogun called Goodhead Goons, where he helps like uh, new artists get into making vinyl. Okay, and I assume that the creative process is the same, right? You're still sculpting with clay? Yeah, a lot of sculpting. I'm okay. still making the silicone mold and doing some casting. Right, a little right. bit of resin for like prototyping stuff out, making sure I'm happy with it before I send it off because the, the molds for vinyl are pretty expensive. They're metal. Oh, they're it's, metal. Yeah, it's copper plated on a wax copy of your sculpture. Um, and, and once it's thick enough, it gets welded onto a steel frame, and then that goes into like a hot bath, basically. Holy and moly! The vinyl, and they, like liquid vinyls in that, and gets dipped in a hot bath. And, <laughs> who yeah. knew? Who knew that there was so much behind a vinyl toy? Yeah, yeah, it's 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 pretty complicated. I mean, there's factory styles where it gets in a sealed mold, and they put powder in there, and put it in a big oven, and it spins. But this style is hand pulled, kind of similar to tiki casting, honestly, because it is a, sl a slush casting thing, that's sort of like slip casting. Is this similar to like? So when I would go to, I remember when I was a kid and I'd go to the Chinese theater or Universal Studios, they had those wax, those machines of the wax. That's glow molding, I think. Okay. Uh, the mold they use like machine. the steel. Yeah. Yep, it is steel a steel molds. mold and that's okay. uh, putting hot plastic in there and then injecting air into it to fill Got the mold. It. Those are really cool machines. Yeah. They have one in Vegas at the uh, Pinball Hall of Fame. Oh, Love it. That you can still use. It's pretty fun. Yeah, there's yeah. a company that like has the name. Moldorama. And, yeah. yeah, and they like maintain yeah, them, like, yeah, yeah, by yeah. parts, and they help restore yeah. them and all that yeah, stuff. Very it's really cool. cool. Very cool. I'd love to get my hands on one of those things because I'd love I know, to have right? molded stuff to too. Get I know. Hands on one of those things. Yeah, those <laughs> those big like jumbo uh, machinder like Shogun Warrior toys from like the 70s, 80s. Those are all like big glow molded parts. I love it. I wish I could make that stuff. Wow, that's awesome. Awesome. Well, I love your work. Uh, Thank you so much. We're going to put a link right here so all, all of our friends follow our friend Chris here. It is We, we, become, we become Monsters. Monsters. Okay, We Become Monsters. And uh, thanks for talking with us, Chris. Thanks for talking Appreciate to me, man. It. Great to meet you. Yeah, you too. Cheers. Take care, guys. Look happy. All right, people. Who's this guy? <laughs> Who's this? Who's this? this? <laughs> I was just, we were just looking at these trolls right here. Yeah, my, my favorite is the King Kong troll. I wish, I wish I could still do that. <laughs> <laughs> you can. You can. You How can. are you guys doing? Good. Good. Awesome. This is my boy JT. Aloha, JT. This is friend nice Rob. To meet you. Hi, Rob. Adrian and Boris. Aloha. You guys nice are on the vlog. Is that all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, cool, on, cool. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Say hi to our audience. Good. Did you guys just get here? Yeah, we just got here. Yeah, okay, awesome. so you haven't seen everything yet. No, no. Yeah, I was going to ask what your favorite booth was. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're still, yeah, well, my son's a big fan. So, oh, okay, cool. Yeah. cool. He does good stuff. Yeah, 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 totally. See, the difference between me and all of you guys is I don't know anybody here. <laughs> I don't know anybody here. But you know what? There's so much talent in this room. We love going every year because just the scene, the creativity, and like, right. you know. Yeah, for sure. There, yeah, there's a lot yeah. of talent in this room right now. A yeah, lot. yeah, for sure. So, so like, yeah, he's doing some, some uh, live art there. All right. I know they're amazing. Hello, Hello Thomas. Thomas. Hey, how's it going? Go. Boris, yeah. jump in here. Say hi. Hi. This is our friend Boris. <laughs> Boris. So, we know each other from the TV Central Soul days. Singer. Totally. Oh, there you go. What was your Tiki Central name? Tiki Thomas 08. Still, still my my email today. Oh, okay, okay. His email is still the same too. Oh, awesome. Polynesian pop. Oh, right. <laughs> so, yeah, awesome. So, like, we're watching you do some art here, and um, we love it. Very, very good stuff. Oh, thanks. So, now, are you doing your own skate decks, or are you still with Santa Cruz? Uh, both. Like, I work full time doing graphics for Santa Cruz. Okay. Um, I have my own small company called Liverad Skateboards. Okay. Me and my friends Zach do. It. Thank you. For, I know it says Liverad, but when I see it online, I think it says Liverad. 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 <laughs> I almost kind of wish it was, you know. <laughs> now, are, are you a skater? I am, yeah. Okay, so you're not just an artist that's just like 
just putting stuff on, on skateboards. No, yeah, I, I, I haven't been skating as much lately, just I've okay. got an injury that's been acting up a little bit, but uh, up oh, until okay, the last couple you. months, I try to hit the parks and some But curves. you're like 23 years old. I'm like 32. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I have to kind of count sometimes <laughs> to forget how old I am. Do you still carve every once in a while, or? Uh, you know, I started uh, picking up the chisels again over uh, the pandemic, just doing some small little pieces and masks. So I want to start doing like full tiki's and bigger size carvings again. It's just a matter of like, I lost all my old uh, connections to the uh, tree trimmers, so I have to track down the logs again. Oh, okay, okay. But uh, yeah, I want to start doing some bigger carvings. Good, 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 cool. Well, I'm looking forward to that. We're going to put a uh, link right here. All of our follow our, our, our Listeners and viewers can follow you on Instagram. Awesome. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Tom. Yeah, of course, Appreciate always. It. Good to see Cheers. you guys. Cheers. See you too. All right. Across this pretty cool booth, Reality Breakdown. How's it going? Aloha. Your name is Eddie. Eddie. Yeah. Okay, Eddie. So he has this cool stuff here. Iconic characters from iconic movies. Stuff that you don't normally see, but you yeah. should. But, you, but should. you should, right? You should. Right? You you should. should. Yeah. There's the deck from Back to the Future. We have the car from Repo Man. We have Blank Man. So, like, I was, I was telling Boris here, he plays Homie the Clown. Yes. Are we gonna see a Homie the Clown? I've gotten requests for Homie the Clown. Yeah. Okay. So it's cool. on my to-do list. So how do you, how do you come up with these? Um, I'm, I'm super into movies. Um, my, my aunt, when I was younger, she showed me a lot of stuff. So like, I probably had no business watching Revenge of the Nerds when I was like, <laughs> six years old. But you know, those kind of things are nostalgic for me. It's the first time you saw boobies, right? Yeah, probably yeah. one of the first times. Yeah. That's great. I That's great. She, I specifically remember watching one and two like back to back. Oh, yeah, wow. yeah. Both of them. Oh, that's hilarious. So she showed me. Like, she's a kid of the 80s, so I was born in 91, so I'm a little bit later. Gotcha. But, like, she showed me Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, Prom, Repo Man, Goonies, like, all, all the hits. Yeah, so that kind of, like, my whole life I've been doing stuff like that. So are you making these, you're sculpting these yourself? So what I do is, it's called kit bashing. Okay. So I'll take stuff that's already made, chop them up, cut the head off one. Cut oh, the gotcha. Off all right, all right. Glue them all together. Okay. And then sometimes I do some sculpting, so, like... On this guy, he didn't have the gloves, so I had to sculpt the gloves on it. He wasn't wearing the bandana, so I sculpted the bandana. Um, and then I just repaint it. The, the fabric is like a printable fabric. You can print like an inkjet printer. Right. So I, I remade the, the pattern of the blanket that he's wearing. Love it. it out and like put it all together. That's cool, super creative. Thank you. You know, the thing is that there's so much you can do, right? Yeah, it's like the sky's the limit, basically. Yeah. Completely. So, like, if you see this one, like, everybody has Ninja Turtles figures, right? There's the four main turtles, there's Shredder, there's the foot. But, like, I made the pizza guy. Like, the right, thing, right, right. in the scene right. for, like, one minute. Right. But, like, people see that and they're, like, drawn to that. Like, I yeah, remember yeah. that scene. Yeah, like love it, yeah. love it. And then it's like a like people that like, even go deeper than that. That's an Easter egg because the guy who played that guy played the, one of the turtles. Yeah, I love it. So, like, oh. People who know know like so that's like a lot of the stuff I do is like if you know it you you know what's going on like you, you get it. 
got like that insider, yeah, like insider inside track. Yeah, 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 yeah. So like, I also have a Joy Division one down there. I don't know if you guys are into Joy Division, the band. Yeah, yeah. So like, everybody and their mom has that shirt. So the Unknown Pleasure shirt, but I don't put Unknown Pleasures. It's just called the lines from that one album because everybody kind of knows it, what it is, you know. So it's kind of like a joke. Love it, love and it. And this kind of thing, the bush, like that's an iconic spot. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's an right. iconic spot. People go there and take photos with that bush. So, like, I just so made it cool. so that would be funny. People love it. That's hilarious. Love it. Love it. Yeah. All right. So, follow our friend Eddie. Yeah. Reality Put the link. Down or Eddie and I on Instagram. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Eddie. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Stay puff Marshmallow Man on the upper left. And down the bottom. And on the bottom. The Superman, Batman. Oh no, it's Batgirl. Batgirl. Who's this? Who's this one right here? I think that's from. Is that Ralphie? Oh yeah. Oh, and that is Squid Game. I'm hard on this one. Oh my God, Teletubbies. I hate Teletubbies. Biggie, ODB, Tupac. I like these like, Touchy. all right. I thought it was gonna be like, like plaster and heavy. Well, it feels like resin. I like these like baby Cyclops guys. All right, we're with our friend Sam. Hello, Sam. How are you doing today? Doing good, man. Happy Designer Con 2023. Happy Designer Con. How are you guys doing? Good. We're good. We're good. Good day so far? Yeah, it's having a great weekend so far. Yesterday was killer. Nice. Today's doing great so far. It's still early, so. It is early. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. And what are you most excited about today? Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen it, but we have our Creature of the Black Lagoon Super Cyborg figure. Oh, yeah. Let's oh, look at that. Crazy. All these different snap-on body part pieces, all the guts. So it's like the Visible Man with <laughs> the cover-ups. Totally. Yeah, so cool. it's, a, it's just an extension of our Super Cyborg line. It's uh, of all the robots where you can take off the chest pieces and kind of see all the robot parts. Took it a step further with the bringing it to life and then all the different parts that also snap on and off. So if you guys were wondering, if you're wondering what a dissected creature looks like, there you go. Strangely human, believe it or not, right? Large intestine, small intestine, lungs. <laughs> Just like you. <laughs> love it, love it. Oh my god, who are we talking about? Oh my god! Alright, let's see. Oh, I gotta get the shoes. Oh, are you guys you guys are both wearing oh, yeah. Yeah. Now I, now I feel like we're doing it wrong. There you go. We're doing it wrong, Morris. Right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. My Converse do not confuse. Right, right. Look at that. <laughs> Happy awesome. Designer Con 2023. That's all right. Yeah. All right. Thank yeah. Thanks. Okay, thanks. 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 All right. Cheers, party people.
appropriate for Christmas, right? Elf and our friend Macaulay Culkin. Kevin from Home Alone. You wanna do that one again? Here we go. You got Clark and Ralphie. Clark and Ralphie, oh, I, just, I just noticed that. And what do we have up here? Oh yeah, so uh, what's his name again? I forgot. Oh, Breaking Bad. There he is, Walter White. Swanson. Jaws. Snape. And is that Pee Wee over there? Yeah. Lona Rebel. All right. Our friend Dave Wiggle, look at this stuff here. Look how awesome this guy's work is. We love it, we love it. Happy uh, Designer Con. Thank you. 2023. Uh, What's your favorite one here? You probably get that a lot, right? Oh, uh, favorite booth? Your favorite, no, your favorite piece. They're all your children, but which one is your favorite of the day? Oh, of mine, oh. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's hard to say. That's a tough one, I bet. Yeah, you hear the, they're all my children kind of things <laughs> right, a lot, right? right, right. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know which one is my favorite. I guess whichever one I just did. There you go. Or the one you haven't done yet, the next one. Yeah, the, next the one, one that's right. coming, yeah. Do you ever get attached to any of these? Do you ever do something that, like, you just, like, really, really love it? And I assume that you sell the originals. Well, I'm, I'm other than tattooing, I'm most, I'm digital. So tattooing is okay. the only time, and you know, I can't get attached to those because they walk out the door. Right, 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 right. right. But uh, everything that's digital, I, I still have. You can do it again, yeah. okay. Right, right. would right. be a problem if you did get attached to, to a tattoo. To a tattoo, yes. yeah, like you have to live at my house now. <laughs> exactly. Right, right. At least your forearm does. That's right, yeah. <laughs> right. This is great yeah, stuff. Sure. Is all this stuff available online? Yes. Okay, because yeah. the social assassin is insane how cool that is. Thank you. As well as the architect, but... Thank you. What Favorite what you shows of mine, yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm learning. <laughs> right. <laughs> All right. We're with our friend Lukey McGarry. Aloha. Aloha, guys. Happy Designer Con 2023. Yeah. How's it going so far? It's going really well, yeah. Good. It's, it's um, no complaints so far. You've got some great stuff, so it should oh, be going Thank well. you so much, yeah. I really like Designer Con because it's like it's way more chill than the other conventions. So right, right. Everybody that comes over is so nice and like, you know. Oh, cool. Yeah, it's been, it's been really good so far. So. Good, because uh, there's nothing more less self-aware than a nerd with a giant backpack. Yeah. <laughs> right. yeah. <laughs> Uh, that that person's probably bumped into us a half dozen times yes, exactly. throughout the day, yeah. knocking stuff over. Right, yeah. right. Not that right. we haven't, but also you know. Right, right. <laughs> you know, you don't have the backpacks. So. I don't have the backpacks. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right. Thank right. you so much. I love your work. Yeah, Thank, right. Thanks and for giving us the time. Weekend. Likewise, likewise, right. and happy. Holidays and New Year. Yes. Let's you cover too. all you the bases to the end of the year. <laughs> exactly. <Yeah. laughs> Follow our friend Luke, you guys. Cheers. Yeah. Alrighty.